Hello everyone, today we're going to be solving a programming question called The Shortest Path Visiting All Knowns. This is a hard question and basically this question wants us to find the shortest path to visit all of the nodes in a graph. So over here I have an unweighted and undirected graph with the nodes 0, 1, 2, and 3. And the shortest path here is from 1 to 0, then from 0 to 2 then from 2 back to 0, and from 0 to 3. The shortest path includes four steps, and it is solved using the smart breath first search. The idea of the smart breath first search is to push all of the nodes to the queue, and then perform a breath first search on every node simultaneously. And while we are doing that, we have to store the steps of the visited nodes with a 32-bit in representation for bit masking. For example, in here, we have four nodes, uh, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And let's say that the nodes 1 and 2 are visited. Then the 32-bit in representation of the visited nodes would be 0, 0, 1, 1. And the last bit is to represent the node 1, and the penultimate bit is to represent node 2, and so on. Okay, and the reason why we cannot use the traditional breadth-first search is because in this problem, we can visit nodes and edges more than once. Therefore, if we use the traditional breadth-first search, we are going to encounter cycles or we will get stuck. So to avoid getting stuck and to avoid cycles, we are going to use the smart breath first search where we will conduct a breath first search simultaneously on all nodes and then use the bit masking for tracking all of the visited nodes. And here we have the code in Python that implements the smart breath first search approach. First, we will store the length of the graph into a variable so that we can use it without having to recompute it in the future. Then we set the goal to be one bits for n times, because that will mean that all of the nodes in the graph are visited. Now we're going to initialize the queue, and the queue is going to have the length of the graph, and it's going to store a tuple with the current node and then the bit mask representation of all of the visited nodes while in that current node. And after that, we'll store the steps. The number of steps is going to be zero in the beginning, and we're also going to store the current node and the current paths inside of the steps so that we can search for it in the future. And then we're going to perform our breadth first search, taking into account the current paths and the current nodes. And if the current path is equal to the goal, meaning if there is four ones, if we are basing it off our example graph, then we will just return the current steps because that will be the number of steps that was needed in order to reach that goal. And otherwise, we'll loop through the child nodes and then we'll perform the breath first search while taking into account the bit masks and we'll update those bit masks in this way. And after we perform this breath first search approach, we will eventually get to the goal and return the current steps. The good thing about this algorithm is that each node's visited path is maintained so that we can check and see if this path was already taken before or not. That way we can avoid cycles and also avoid getting stuck. 
Now, I hope you enjoyed this algorithm. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. And see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.